taking Michael Schunke's goblet making for the modern world class. Less of an emphasis on the traditional techniques of goblet making that come out of the 16th and 17th centuries of Venice and more about how do we make goblets today. Really what I've been concentrating on is just getting the basic steps, getting really clean avolios, the connecting parts between all of the, the cup and the stem and the foot. Um, really clean parts, just everything nice and simple and clean. Um, which is really what I look for in, in my own work and people whose work I really enjoy. I like to think about functionality a lot as well. You can have a great sense of beauty and a, a sense of grace in the form. Um, and it's a great, it's, goblets are a great way to achieve that. Really, we've, we're trying to reproduce something that's been made for thousands of years, so it's hard to come up with something original. And something I've been really trying to do is, is push, push the envelope as far as what's been made, because so much is tradition and technique one of the things that's been um, a big part of it is the invention of oxypropane torches, being able to reheat specific parts of the glass, which makes it a lot easier than before when you just have one source of heat and you'd have to reheat everything in the, in the furnace, actually, they wouldn't even have glory holes. It's a great way to learn how to blow glass. It's a great way to build your skills as a technical glass blower. I would say my professional career started, uh, I walked into a studio and just asked if I could sweep floors and clean dishes. Over hanging out and bugging people, I kind of got put on production teams and kind of just worked my way up the, the team and the ladder. It's, it's so enjoyable. I mean, being able to do what you love is such a great thing. Experience has been phenomenal. Um, there's just so much, so much history, so much material to soak in. Corning is such a small town with such a large history. There's such a rich tradition of people blowing glass, engraving glass, just being in the glass industry. I've been wanting to go for a long time and finally through the scholarship I finally had the opportunity to, to come here. The facilities are amazing. Nowhere else in the world would you be able to look at old batch records from ancient Venetian glass houses. It's so hard to define how amazing it's been here. The chance to be able to work and watch somebody blow glass who's phenomenal at blowing glass all day and then be able to make your own work with really talented people, um, it, it doesn't come very often. And me being able to come out to Corning and take this class and be at the museum really wouldn't have happened without the scholarship.